about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for A bit of dinner cooking, uh, a bit of supper. Uh, these are local sausages, uh, the chicken and parsley sausages from a local butcher just down uh, New Galloway Way. Get those onions nice and caramelised there, lovely jubbly, and they're looking really sweet. Look at that, look at that. that close to a hook. She knows not to touch it, she knows to be a good girl. Lock up, eh? Well. Beautiful evening. It's almost nice enough to have a, a barbecue. Well, I might have one tomorrow nice. I might do a live. See you going, buddy? Hey? Getting the warmth. Well, it's not that cold. It's a bit chilly, but it's uh, not too bad. Come on then, Sky. Come on then, Sky. It's getting Christine. Now, stop jumping up, me. Let's uh, take you off the tether. I could let her loose, so yeah, she wouldn't run off here. Uh, she's quite well trained now. Come on, Scott, in, in. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, it's all dark in there. Oh, the bloody hell, I can feel the warmth coming out the van now. It might be too warm. I've said, oh, this guy. I'll give you a drink, bab. Later, guys. Settling for the night. Right, guys, uh, just in the same location on this side of the loch. I've moved off the ridge uh, about a half a mile up there. I walked down here this morning. Found this lovely spot. This sky baby. Hello, sweetheart. Another lovely camp on the uh, logging road, guys. Uh, to show you. Oh, it's a step outside. I say logging trail goes up there. That goes to a, a logging station. Uh, I don't think there's any way through there. So we'll have a walk down there later, guys. Down the other way. Uh, just on the ridge. Just around the corner there on the ridge. That's where we was last night. But I've done move down here to this one. And look at this for the camp, guys. Beautiful. We've got a bit more uh, woodland here, so there's a bit more life around me regarding birds and wildlife. And it's in a beautiful location. Hear the birds singing. There's Christine tucked away there. I've just got her rocked up on some rocks. Got lovely. Deciduous woodlands all around us. Somebody's obviously had a campfire here in past. There's the remains of one there. Looking across the lock there. Beautiful. It's a bit misty today. Low clouds today, guys. But the uh, lock goes up there towards Lock D. Here we are on this lovely camp case, right by the lock side. I can walk down to the water there. Uh, looks like there's another campfire there, somebody's done. Or is it a big lug? Birds singing in the trees. Beautiful. Another glorious camp. 
This sky, waiting for daddy. Just think of this one, guys. A lovely area, kind of picnic area here, guys, to have a campfire. Be nice for uh, meetups as well. There's enough room for a few RVs behind me. I'll just show you in a minute. Uh, so I'm just tucked here where there's just enough room for one. Uh, I could pull in there, but it's a uh, it's a bit hilly, so uh, it's, uh, we won't do that. We're all right there. We're nice and straight there. But just over there is a big big empty space, guys. Big empty area here. You could get a couple of three or four RVs in there, no problem. Lovely job, Lee. A lovely camp. Step back a bit for you. Across the other side of the logging road from the other park up on the other side. There we go. How grand is that, eh? How grand is that? Should be a lot more wildlife and birds and stuff around me here. It's a bit uh, desolate where I was on the ridge. And uh, we've actually got. Uh, we can get through into the forest here for a walk as well. There's a wee path here, I think. Well, not a path, but a trail. I think it's more of an animal trail than anything. But uh, have a look in there, guys. Just have a quick, it's a bit swampy underfoot. But uh, it's like a bit of a clamber for a walk, but lovely. Beautiful, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Looking back at Christine there. It's a little bit of a fly tip in there somebody's done. That's ho household uh, waste. Oh, which is a bloody shame. Uh, does my bloody head in. What the fucking hell's the matter with people? Just because there's nobody about, they think they can do what they bloody well like. Bloody disgusting. Middle of nowhere, beautiful location like this. And somebody's come in with their car or whatever or van and fly tipped house rubbish there. A load of bloody tyres and all sorts there, guys. It's all house stuff. Nothing to do with RVs. It's not going to spoil our moment, eh? I'll take it away, guys, but there's way too much for me to get on board. This yes, guy, baby. You know, sweetheart. Let's have a look at the famous uh, wind of view. I might do a live here. You right, baby? You right, baby? I let her off the lead this morning for half an hour. She walked with me up and down the road. She stayed with me and come back when I called. That's, uh, we're cracking on with the training. Lovely. Go inside, Christine. Oh, inside we go. And there's my view, guys. So hopefully we may, not, may do a live or I may have already done a live with that view. Hopefully the clouds will clear. We've got low cloud at the moment. Hopefully that will clear. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get settled in here, get the bloody kettle on and settle in for another nice here. Me and Sky would do here nicely. Lovely. Uh, got Wi Fi is pretty good here, but uh, no TV. No mind, I ain't seen TV. Oh, can't remember last time I saw a TV. Later, guys. Right, guys, I'm sat here in this remote track. I haven't been seeing no one for probably four or five days. And I've had a camp further up on the ridge. I'm down at the bottom now, I showed you. There's a car outside just pulled up. Well, it's not just pulled up, it's been there about two hours. I don't know what they're doing. There's two guys in there. Don't forget, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this is the first time I had the ears up on the back of my neck a little bit. You know, I can defend myself, no problem at all. But uh, I'll just show you guys. I don't want to show myself in the window too much, but just over there. See that car? Don't want to show them too much, uh, they may see me, but uh, uh, a little bit concerned, so uh, I'll have to get my uh, get my uh, weapons at the ready, <laughs> you never know, but uh, they've been there a couple of hours now, I don't know what they're doing, they're sat in the car and uh, I don't know what they're playing at, here in the remotes, I may go out and uh, challenge them, because uh, I'm doing a live show t you know, tonight as well, and, uh, oh, kettle's on. Yeah, I'm doing a live show in a minute, so uh, uh, yeah, be concerned. But I may go out and challenge you and see what's going on. Bye.
lovely. Here in the remotes of Galloway. Lovely. Ooh, uh, missus, what's going on in country? Watch you, back at you. Uh, it's about an hour and a half, an hour. And they're still out there. Uh, now a lot of people say to me in my van life, uh, don't you get so scared? Being alone, being alone van life. Uh, especially out in the walls like I do, guys. I'm in the middle of nowhere 99% of the time. People say to me, uh, you know, they'd get scared or get worried. You know, it doesn't bother me. I can defend myself, believe me. I can defend myself. And I've got the tools on board to do that. And this is the first time in my two years in van life that uh, I guess I'm in amber, amber alert situation. Not gone to red yet, but it's only an amber alert situation. I'm a little uneasy. Those guys have been there a few hours now. I don't know what they're doing. There's two guys, middle of nowhere, as I said before, just sat there in the car over there. Just show you. I'll give you a quick, another quick look, guys. Uh, I'll cover the registration up just in case it's uh, or innocent. If it's not, uh, the registration, you probably can't see it there through the... Uh, I just sat the two blokes in that car over there. I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know what they're so, doing. Uh, now, I'm not panicking, but I am in uh, alert stage, uh, just in case anything happens. But I will approach them. Uh, so I'm doing my live uh, in about uh, 20 minutes, I think. Uh, one of my live shows, so uh, I will approach them before, before that happens and uh, see what's going on. Mm. Mm, what's going on now? Uh, Per se, it doesn't bother me, guys. I can defend myself, believe me. Anyway, let's crack on with the day here at this lovely camp. All oh, that bloody Scottish mist, what a shame. It's coming down even worse now. Catch you later. And uh, see you on the live if you came into the live. So, this video will be after the live, but if you came into that particular live where uh, we had this uh, encounter, <laughs> I'll probably mention it in the live. Uh, have a look back on my uh, playlist, guys. Lovely job, Lloyd. Like. Oh, it's crack up with the day. Lovely. Cup of tea, eh? Oh, blimey, that was a bit weird and random. Blimey, O'Reilly. Uh, I'll just show you a clip of the, uh, the live show that I did uh, when I did this video, guys. It was a Sunday night, uh, probably last week. I'll just show you what transpired uh, with these two uh, strangers outside my van in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'll just show you the clip. Uh, I car park next to you is me. Uh, no other choice. I've got a flat tire waiting for our seat. Hiya, mate. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> How did you get in my channel? Oh, you've obviously watched my channel on the side of the van. I'll come out and say hello in a minute. Is that, uh, is it Dimitri? Is that how you say that, bro? Oh, your tire's flat. Is it, can I help in any way? I've got equipment on board. Oh, there you go, guys. The guys are apart behind me here. Yeah. They've come out the blue. I wonder what they were doing. Uh, they've got a flat tire. Uh, that's why they're there. <laughs> oh, these, these bloody roads, guys, they're treacherous. I've got all terrain, so I'm good. Guys, uh, uh, I'm back, guys. Uh, bear with me. Uh, I can't help them, apparently. They don't have a spare tyre with these new cars, so uh, we can't help them. Uh, they've called the RSC, so they're all sorted. But uh, lovely pair of chaps. I think they're two Polish lads. Lovely pair of them. Uh, uh, just an update, update on the two lads here behind me. Uh, I think they're Polish lads. Um, the RIC can't get out to them today. <laughs> Crazy, eye, uh, Because we've been in the uh, remotes. Uh, they're going to come out in the morning. So the lads are going to camp up down the bottom here, just in front of me, get the tent out. Luckily, they've got a tent with them. Otherwise, they'd be sleeping in my van. <laughs> nice on country. Got a bit of company tonight for the first time in uh, five months. They've just gone down in the pasture there. They're going to set up the tent and have a fire down there. So we'll have a look at Ita. Here you go. Let's go and have a look at this. Let's go and have a look at this lovely dog. It's beautiful. Look. Look at this guy. Hey, look at this lovely beast. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Oh. oh. <laughs> Not sure. What's your name, by the way? Sorry. What's your name? Dante. Sorry? Dante. Dante. Yeah. Stephen, mate. Nice oh, to meet you. Uh, it's your chap's name? Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's Dimitri. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right. Hey. What a lovely dog. Hey. Was that a whiskey or? It's Akita. Akita. Oh, Akita. All Japanese right. Japanese Akita. Yeah. She's a rescue dog. All oh, right. Same as mine. Lovely. 
Come on, from Bulgaria. It's stuck for years to work to, to become like Calm that. Calm it down, no. It still is not on. Sky section of it calming down. Yeah. She's just chase anything. Oh, what a lovely evening. You know, it's misty. Beautiful. Listening to the evening. Bird song. I don't think there's any deer here. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit barren for wildlife. There's plenty of birds. It's a brilliant spot to go away for night skies for your stargazing. Astrophotography is fantastic in uh, Galloway. It's known for those dark skies. I'll look at chat in a minute. Bear with me. If I had my bloody laptop bloody going, I could uh, look at chat here while I'm filming. <laughs> How bonkers is that though? I started my live showing here at six o'clock at usual. Thought I'd carry on, even though they were there, I was a bit concerned. I was going to approach them before uh, when I went out on the live show. I was doing the live show from the window. As you can see, they come in on the comments. Obviously, they saw the, my sign on the side of the van, my channel. They walked into my channel while they were sat there. They are watching my live show, and I was saying there's some weird blokes outside my van uh, in the middle of nowhere, which they bugger off. <laughs> and they were actually watching my live show and watching me say that. So it's lucky I didn't say anything uh, bad. But uh, anyway, it turned out to be these two uh, lovely Polish chaps coming to the chat and said hello, sorry. Uh, we broke down, <laughs> as you saw in the video. They got a flat tyre and the uh, rescue service, uh, it turned out that uh, they'd found the rescue service that was waiting for them to come. And the rescue service found them back and said they can't make it till the next day. How crazy is that, the breakdown service in the middle of nowhere? It's lucky they've got their tents on board, they camped up. We had another lovely chat there there for campfires. I had my campfire doing the live. As you saw it on the live, on the live replay, if you want to watch that, guys, you can see it all on there. We're two lovely Polish lads. Two lovely lads. Uh, so, I had a nice chat to them and a nice evening. We had a good live as well. So, thanks for the live show, guys. Great live show again. Even though it's uh, the live dropped out once. Uh, but we kept it going. I think we went for about three hours in the end, which is lovely. And some lovely comments, some lovely interaction, a lovely evening. So, thanks for that, guys. We do a live show every Sunday. And uh, thanks for the super chats as well. Oh, guys, you're amazing. I think I had about six or seven super chats on there. So it all turns out it's all right. We've gone down from amber back down to green situation in the alert. Uh, but uh, I wasn't alarmed anyway, you know, as I say, I can handle myself. But uh, lovely, here you go. That's weird. That's the first time I've got a little bit tense in the van in my nearly two years now of van life in, because I'm in the remotes all the time. People say to me, do you get worried? Nah, I'm a big bloke, I can handle myself. And I've got, I've got one or two tools on board that keeps us safe. Let's put it that way, guys. <laughs> How weird is that? How strange. Anyways, crack on with this lovely camp. Cracking, guys. Catch you later. As the RIC come the next morning, I said they'd be around about, uh, what are we, it's morning now. It's 10 to 9. I think the lads are still in the tent. Uh, oh, there they are. They're coming now. It's a bit of a wet morning from camped out there, blimey, after the live show last night. They've had a wet night. First wet night we've had for weeks. Them poor guys have been camped in it. Uh, Dimitri and um, his mate. Lovely gobbly. There they are. Hopefully they'll get sorted. Uh, well, a bit of a drama. A bit of drama in the remotes on country. <laughs> Lovely lads as well. I bet they've been chilling in the bloody tent since the rain's been raining all night, I think, since the live show last night. Here you go, guys. The RAC found them out here in the remote sticks in the wilderness. Took them uh, 24 hours, mind you. Oh, perhaps, yeah. Or well, the next day, kind of thing. So those guys will get sorted. Uh, I don't know whether these, I presume he'll have a spare tyre with him. Lovely jubbly get those lads on the road. Love to meet them. There's a lovely dog. He looks a bit chill the poor chap. But uh, anyway, lovely. Hopefully they get sorted. It's a wet old miserable day today. Those guys camping last night. There's the RIC sorting them out. 
hopefully get them on the road. I don't know whether he's going to repair the puncture or I don't know what they do when there's no wheels, no spare tyres. There we go, there we go, guys. In the wilderness, RAC to the rescue. I'm not with RAC, but uh, hey ho. Lovely job, though. Get these guys sorted. Oh, it's a cold and miserable day to have a breakdown. Feel sorry for those lads, all the tents are wet as well. The RAC bloke out there doing his job. Uh, they have a, a punch of repair kit with them uh, that they pierce and put a plug in, then weld it up. Uh, it's quite impressive. Uh, I might have to see them get one of those on eBay. Just for emergencies, for little holes in the uh, wheels. It's all right for small holes, but any bigger holes, they would have had to have a, a tow truck come down and take them out. But he's sorted this, he's gone and going. Uh, so hopefully that will last for him to get to a garage. Uh, I've told them there's a, and uh, the RSA bloke said as well, in Newton, should, they should be able to get a tyre down there because it's only a temporary fix, especially on these bloody roads. We've sorted anyway. And he's on his way, the RSA man, so that's quite quick. Uh, so it's quite lucky that it was repairable. There you are, guys out there. Uh, so those guys have got to get the, the tents down there and they'll be on the way. And hopefully it'll last them out of the uh, this trail to the garage to get a new tyre. A lovely job, lay. There he goes, the RAC man, done his job. Lovely, well done, geezer. Well done, RAC. And away he goes. He said he gets some uh, really tricky fixes to do. There he goes on his way. This guy looking out the window. Oh, he's peeling it down there now. This guy's all wet. <laughs> Piddling down there, and those guys are down there packing their tent up to get away. What a miserable day. Trust it to be raining when they have their first camping session. Piddling down all bloody night, and they've got to pack up now in the wet. Nothing worse, packing up a camp in the wet. That's where we had the uh, fire last night, guys. Lovely jubbly on the live. Oh, I'll catch you in a bit. Let's get that kettle on, eh? We say goodbye to Dimitri and Dante. They're away in the pouring rain, <laughs> piddling around rain. Oh, they haven't got wet clothes at all for camping. What a shame. Bloody rains have come. Right, all right, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's for your dog. Oh, that's nice of you, mate. That's lovely. Thanks, sir. Uh, we'll keep Dante. him going. Yeah, lovely, mate. Don't worry. You good. travel safe. Yeah, we will try. Give us a subscribe on the channel and keep a look out. I'll mention you in one of my vlogs. Yeah, no so problem. I'll, so I'll feature you in one of my vlogs. All right, Dimitri. Yeah. All sorted. It's a bugger, isn't it? Okay. Packing up in the wet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's evil. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you get out safely and get back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, mate. All right. Know. Okay, good. <laughs> See you, Dante. Yeah. Look, Sky, we got some biscuits. <laughs> How lovely. Big bag of biscuits for Sky from these guys. Just watch them on the way to get back in. How nice is that? Look at that. Big bag of treats for Sky. <laughs> Look at that, Sky. Oh. Lovely Dante and Dimitri. Two lovely Polish lads in there. Lovely Akita dog. Absolutely lovely. Stay there, Sky. Don't you jump out there. She won't go out in the rain anyway. There we go. I think Dimitri's just uh, making sure the camp's all clean. That they've left. And they've left nothing behind. Pinning down the rain. What a shame. But it's all part of the experience, guys. Camping in a tent. I've packed up many a time in the pouring rain and snow and all sorts. And gales and tent blown away and all sorts of dramas in the tent. But, uh, it's all part of the adventure. How amazing is that, eh? Big bag of munchies for Sky. Bit of drama. I thought they was going to. Uh, I thought they were going to mug me when they pulled up and parked there for hours. I didn't know what they was up to. <laughs> Just shows you never judge a book by its cover, guys. But uh, nah, it's all right. It's all right here in the hood. It really is. All right, just wait for him to pull off and we'll crack on with the day. We'll settle down here for until uh, this bloody weather goes through. It is miserable out there, absolutely piddling down. All their gear is soaking wet in the back of their car. Nice Beamer though, nice BMW. 
I've got to get back out on this logging road and back onto the main road. It's, uh, it's only about a mile to the main road, so hopefully that should be alright. There they go. There's guys. There they go, guys, on their way. And there they go, up the logging road trail. We're back on our own, Sky. Back on our own again. And you've got a lovely bag of dog treats. Thanks, Dimitri. Thanks, Dante. Lovely to meet you guys. All right, let's crack on with the day, guys. Just an update on Dimitri and Dante when they left me. Um, the next day, they messaged me uh, the following day and uh, to say that they got a mile up the road and the tyre that the RAC had fixed had blown again. <laughs> Blimey, I'm bleeding, Riley. Uh, so they were stuck up there and uh, they found they, had to, they sat in the car and they, they found it around a few garages and they had a quote from one garage in Newton Stewart. £250 call out plus the charge of the tyre plus the fitting. Bloody hell. And uh, they found about and they found another one for £150 that included the tyre and fitting. So they went for that one instead. But uh, I said to him, you should have messaged me. I'd have come up to you. Uh, you know, got the measurements for your tyre. Gone and got the tyre for you. Come back and I would have fitted it myself. Save all that bloody hassle. Because I was waiting around for another bloody six, seven hours again. Uh, when the tyre went the second time. So what a shame. What a disaster. <laughs> I'll certainly remember that little journey for a long while. Anyway, they're all sorted now. And they're on their way to find another camping spot somewhere. So... Uh, Cheers Dimitri, cheers Dante, thanks for your gifts guys, you should have given me a call, I'd have sorted you out. Anyway, let's crack on with the video. Right, here we go again, uh, I'm back on the old logging roads, I love these logging roads, you don't see a single soul, honestly. There are miles and miles and miles of them, you've got to be careful you don't get lost though. Oh, where's this go? Uh, we're going to have a look up here, shall we? We'll take a left here and go, oh, it's getting a bit dodgy up here. Um, uh, the uh, logging road's getting a bit wild. I think we're coming to a logging station here. Yeah. This is one of the logging stations and the roads are really messy up here. Uh, there's uh, gullies and troughs in the road and parts of the road that have fallen away uh, along the hillside there. It looks a bit iffy up there. I'm walking up now just to have a look. Oh, there's a big gully as well. That could take at the bottom out of Christine. Looks a bit iffy, but uh, I think we're going to go for it. This sky inside of Christine. I tend to get out of the van and walk up the road if it looks bad, just to check the uh, to check what's ahead before we crack on, guys. Anyway, we cracked on, and uh, this looks like a little camp, a lovely little camp. We're overlooking... Lot clattering shore to the right. We're up in the clouds, so this is going to be a cloud camp. We're right, a quick stop, anyway. Let's have a look. There's me bread. Looking bloody lovely. 